Since the inception of the YV Alliance back in 2009, we always had the envision that we need to develop a very high throughput uh, wireless technology that is capable of doing things beyond what Wi-Fi can do. For example, uh, you know, transmitting to the televisions, to the monitors, unleashing all the devices from cables, for example, PC Express, USB, SDIO. No more bags. Hopefully. <laughs> maybe you can put something else in your bags, but not necessarily. Oh, well, I saw Apple introduced a new connector and a new Oh, cable. yeah, you can put that one in there. <laughs> okay. So, so, um, so we were able, in just a very short time, in a couple of years, bring a concept that you just saw in the video that we produced it before this right. becomes a reality to today that we're very close to a reality. Yeah, and it does a good job of that. Now, um, you're up in the 60 gigahertz part of the spectrum, millimeter waves, you know, that's kind of that's kind of the new <laughs> the new regime. Um, you know, it's and you're not the first, you know, why not the first occupant of that part of the part of the of the um, of the spectrum. So why do we need why get why, why can't we go with one of the existing 60 gigahertz? Very good question. I've been asked that question many, many times. So I'm prepared for that. Okay. Um, as you know, the, the legacy Wi-Fi devices operate in 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz. Mm -hmm. These frequencies, by definition, are very uh, high consumed. So the interference is, is potentially very high. Right. For high demanding applications such as video, uh, you know, synchronization is very high throughput, multi-user applications in the office environment, we need to move into a frequency that there's a lot less interference. And that's where we chose 60 gigahertz. Okay. But we also looked at multitude of applications, as I mentioned, for PC, CE, uh, handheld, handset, you know, ultra books and so forth. Right. So we designed this new standard based on that vision. So that's very reminiscent of Wi-Fi itself. It is. Uh, as a matter of fact, I mean, if you look at uh, some of the board members and the contributors that we have, if we move on with the slide. Oh, uh, <laughs> Uh, you have the same potentially uh, the same characters and the companies involved mm -hmm. and that's why we actually uh, design our system uh, to based on the Wi-Fi so we're backward compatible to the Wi-Fi system uh, it does uh, the applications what Wi-Fi can do today plus additional applications that we always discussed about so okay you've been working since 2009 now it's you know 2012 when are we going to see something working? Uh, we just did the production, so that's it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You're in production. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, not in this keynote. You'll have video now. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if we move into the next slide, we actually turned that vision yeah. a couple of years ago into the reality. You can actually see it hopefully in live. Can we do that? Absolutely. Okay. I'd like to ask my a friend and colleague Jorf to help us with the demo. Okay. So what we see here are, there are two monitors mm -hmm. that are connected to the docking station. Wow, two monitors. Two monitors. Ooh. High def. Two High definition monitors. 1080p. Right. Yeah. And there's the external hard drive and the printer all connected mm -hmm. uh, to the docking station device. Right. And also. Let's wake this up first. It's not waking up. Oh, it's, this is off. Oh, supposed to. <laughs> wake up the. You know what? The this was on works. since last night. I think we ran our battery. What's supposed to do? <laughs> no. Really? Well, it's live television, everybody. It's live television. Is this uh, it's not connected? So I can explain. Okay. So what it was supposed to do, which we oh, he's got, an, he's got an image up there. Yeah, he's, he's waking it up. I think yeah. uh, the laptop went to sleep. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, the device uh, will connect to the docking station. It's not paired yet. Uh, when it connects, it actually light comes off and it's paired. Okay. And and. Uh, as I said, all the peripherals and the, and, the, uh, and the external drive and the monitors are connected to the, to the uh, docking station. The content that we saved earlier was supposed to show it, hopefully we can get it done in time, is that from the hard drive, the, the, uh, the content is going to be rendered into the laptop and then it will transmit back into the monitors. I see. Okay. okay. Right. So at the same time, again, we're supposed to have it done, but not, not done here. 
uh, we have Wi-Fi connections. So not only we have Wi-Fi connections, we also have a complete unleashed environment for the laptop. Mm -hmm. And you know, hopefully it will come alive. One of the one of the main things to look at is is the size of the laptop in the back is actually you know constrained by the connector. Sure, yeah, you can see the connector. That's right. So even if if we we were able to remove all the connectors, we can actually shrink that size in the back as well. That is going to hopefully uh, give you a better and sexier look of a uh, laptop. Super. So when do you think we're going to see this um, actually in the market? Well, and this was a, definitely a, a prototype of the wireless docking station. And I assure you it was working yesterday. So <laughs> I didn't see it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, it always happens when you have a live demo. Uh, we have several of our member companies uh, that are uh, developing the prototype, and, and we went through the uh, two rounds of the test events, okay. and uh, um, one in 2011 and one in 2012. Uh, we are set for the next uh, event uh, later on this year and the beginning of next year. Our uh, certification program is going to start uh, mid next year, and hopefully, are we connected? It seems like we're connected. Oh. Fantastic. So our, our certification program is about to launch uh, in the mid-2013, so hopefully the certified products uh, will be shipped shortly after. Okay. I did see one up there. There you go. There you go. Okay. So we're All right. connected. Oh, well, I think that deserves a round of applause. <laughs> so if I, okay, so the hard drive is actually now disconnected. So we're going to turn on the hard drive and the system is going to detect it, again the, the Ultrabook is going to detect the external hard drive right? and it pops ah, the window comes up on the <clears> and we're going to go and choose the video content and it will get larger, here you go. Yeah. And so the video is being again rendered from right. the, the hard drive through this uh, through the Ultrabook and goes there. And, right. and again, there's no wire right. whatsoever. And to make sure that and assume no connectors, no connectors. Right. And to make sure that this is the system, um, and we're not. No, I don't think anybody it believes you're faking it. It actually is connected. Okay. Oh, there it goes. There you go. Right. So all right. It, this is probably the best thing can happen to to all of us that we we get rid of all the unwanted cables. So when? Hopefully, as I mentioned, uh, right after certification, uh, mid next year, we will see uh, more and more devices in the market, and I look for the data. Now I know why you're in charge of YG. Thanks, Alessandro. Thank you.